advent of code, day 13. Here we go. Transparent origami. You reach another volcanically active part of the cave. And nice thermal imaging. Congratulations on your purchase. Transparent paper. Random dots. Okay. So, um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. dots equals groupster zero. Uh, ints equals groupsters one. Um, all right, the first section is a list of dots on the transparent paper. Second value, the first value x increases to the right, second value y increases downward. Uh, coordinates um, is this example, then there's a list of fold instructions. Uh, fold paper up or left. Um, dots will never appear. Uh, okay. After completing just the first fold. Uh, holy cow. Um, okay, so points equals um, ba, 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 ba. Do, 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 do. Um, dots dot each do dot uh, x, y equals dot dots split dot map to I um, yeah uh, points X Y um, okay and now I want to uh, Uh, dot map do uh, instruction uh, <clears throat> uh, split um, axis val equals inst dot split equals um, val equals val dot to I. Um, okay, new points, uh, new points equals set dot new <coughs> dot dot uh, points dot each do point. Um, okay, so now uh, if axis equals x else uh, alright my first one is x so I just need to do stuff here um, uh, x y equals ET, um, if x is greater than uh, val, um, x equals val minus x minus val. Yeah new points uh, x y puts new points dot count um, oh dang it Uh, 
what? Oh, I didn't save it. Damn it. 810. Oh, yeah, let's go. 509. <clears throat> um, if Y, um, Uh, points equals new points. Uh, points dot values. Uh, let's just do um, points dot values dot map first dot max x max equals last um, y. <coughs> Uh, zero y max dot each do y x max um, if if points dot include x y print x else print uh, puts values each uh h l b u b g f r boom 705 holy cow I would have been, oh, I would have totally crushed the leaderboard. Oh my God. I would have gotten 21st. <laughs> Holy cow. Urgh, let's go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Wow, I would have gotten 21st. And I forget what part one, I think, I don't know, was I like 509 or something? I would have gotten like 50th. Oh. Neely, thank you. Warren, thank you. Oh. All right, let's go recap this problem that I just dominated. All right. Day 13, transparent origami. <clears throat> Re you reach another volcanically active part of the cave. It would be nice if you could do some kind of thermal imaging so you could tell ahead of time which caves are too hot to safely enter. Fortunately, the submarine seems to be equipped with a thermal camera. When you activate it, you are greeted with... Congratulations on your purchase. To activate this infrared thermal imaging camera system, please enter the code found on page one of the manual. Apparently, the elves have never used this feature. To your surprise, you manage to find the manual. As you go to open it, page one falls out. It's a large sheet of transparent paper. The transparent paper is marked with random dots and includes instructions on how to fold it up, your puzzle input. For example, so this is our input. Um, and uh, yeah. The first section is a list of dots on the transparent paper. Zero, zero represents the top left coordinate. First value X increases to the right, Y increases down. Um, and so you can put them, uh, print them out like this. And then there's a list of fold instructions. Uh, indicates a line on the transparent paper and wants you to fold the paper up or left um, for vertical, depending on whether it's Y or X. Um, in this example, the first fold instruction is fold along y equals seven. Uh, because this is a horizontal line, fold the bottom half up. Some of the dots might end up overlapping after the fold is complete, but dots will never appear exactly on a fold. The result of doing this fold looks like this. Um, 
Uh, some dots can end up overlapping. That's fine. They just merge together and become a single dot. Um, so the first part is how many dots are visible after completing just the first fold instruction on your transparent paper. So I have this uh, input helper that um, returns uh, the input uh, basically broken up on new lines. Um, so this gives me group stirs will contain one list of array of all these points and then a list of instructions. So I get the dots and the instructions. Um, these I don't use. Um, so then I'm going to create a set of points and for each dot I split on comma, map them to I, uh, and I add that to points. Then for the instructions, um, uh, first equals false. Um, put new points dot size if first first equals false. Uh, oh, true. There we go. Cool. So that prints out part one, and then we can print out uh, part two up here. Part two. Cool. Um, so uh, we get our instructions. For each instruction, uh, we split on spaces. If we go back up to the instructions, split on spaces to get this last part. And then the axis and the val, we split on the equals, and then we make the val an integer. And then we're going to get create a new set of points. And so for each point uh, in our set of points, uh, if the axis equals x, then we flip it horizontally. And so the y value will not change. So we get the point, uh, destructure it. And then basically, like, uh, the difference between this is if the x is is greater than the value, it'll get moved. But if it's less than the value, nothing happens to it. So if the x is greater than the value, then the difference between basically like if it's one to the right of it, it'll end up one to the left. And so we figure out how far to the right it is by doing x minus val. And then we subtract that from val and that's the new x position um, and so that uh, that's our new point um, and then uh, if it's a y rotation uh, it's basically the exact same thing but just with y instead and so for part one uh, we just want to know how many points there are after the first rotation um, how many dots are visible after completing just the first fold rotation instruction uh, and I use a set so it's fine I can insert things into it multiple times so that's part one um, and then part two is it asks finish folding the transparent paper according to the instructions code is always eight capital letters uh, what code do you use to activate the infrared thermal camera um, and so I go through uh, I get everything I can get the, the min and max x values by converting points to an array um, and then getting the first value in each thing because there are tuples and then taking the max same for y and then I just loop from loop over the y's first over each row and then over the x's and if the point is included in uh, the set then I print an x otherwise I print a space um, I can print a pound sign to make it a little clearer uh, yeah and then I just read this off. H L B U B G F R. Um, yeah, and that was uh, that was advent of code um, day thirteen, which I did in like a little under seven oh seven, probably like seven oh five, uh, and the leaderboard for yesterday. 
Um, yeah, I would have been right up there. These are crazy. <laughs> Those times. But I really feel felt like I nailed this one. Anyway, that's uh, December 13th, 2021 solution. Boom.